Hello, and welcome to our playthrough of Dismantle, a zombie survival game. And now, let's head into our episode. Hello, welcome back to our playthrough of Dismantle. Um, so I went around exploring, I believe. I believe we did some... Uh, first I grabbed all the tablets, so I triggered that achievement. Flash collection, so I have, have officially grabbed all the t tablets. Um, I did trigger, I don't remember if I mentioned this or not, I have trigger, triggered, not done, all the labyrinths, if we go into filters. I'm gonna do, camp, yeah, campfires, and, sorry, tombs. So we've got this tomb to do, and this tomb to do, and then I guess this tomb to do. So that's why it says there's 21, not 20. So what we're gonna do, and I... Yes. All right. So we're going to do this quest, this tune, this quest. Oh, I need to. Oh, uh, I don't think I can get up there. All right. Uh, and then. Right. Tomb, sorry. Quest, tomb, quest. Right. And then this tune. Uh, and then we'll go from there. Probably this too, and then we'll see what pops up. In addition, I went around and collected every food recipe I could. Now, oh, I missed. Okay. Hmm. I don't think I can get these. I admit I used a wiki. Uh, it told me the exact locations, all that f jazz. Um. Uh, a lot of these I did get just by roaming around and that sort of thing. But for the last few of them, I I admit I had to use a wiki, and there's nothing wrong with that. The ha 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 ha. <laughs> Especially for this game. Um, the grinding isn't bad, but you kind of get to a point where it's just like, okay, I could either run around the map like a chicken with my head cut off, and for some people that's fun, or it's like, it's just food. All right, Wiki, show me where they are. And that is what I did. So, um, hey, Ongin, how are you? Uh, we're going to go ahead and cook all this food first. And then we're going to go do the quests and the tombs and that sort of thing. Cook, sorry. Uh, first thing is first, grilled Xander. Or four, four, I'm going to sneeze, hold on. Sneezy, apparently, on good. But good! Uh, well, mostly good. Uh, lots of bad things happening in my personal life, but I am dealing and moving on with that. Um. Uh, oh, and before I forget, shout out to my newest follower, Kitty Catastrophe Cosplay. Welcome to the herd. I hope you're doing well. Um, uh, we're cooking. So, uh, four green fish. Three, four. Oh! Hey. Also, six garlic. Uh, and you missed my, uh, one, five spices. Five spices. All right. Ooh, more hit points. Uh, otherwise, doing well. Probably going to finish this game up uh, today, if not tomorrow. And we'll take a look at a, a small, quick game, I am told, called uh, Airborne Kingdom. Until Warhammer 3 drops. Ooh, backstab critical hit chance. So there are not, there's, there's two more, there's room for two more, but there are not two more, which is a bit awkward ingredients here. Um, you, uh, tomato gratin, two carrots, uh, and I was just, I'm getting some incredibly, wow, brain broke, six tomatoes, three wheat, melee attack, I don't know what melee attack delay is. Maybe swing speed? I wish they'd call it swing speed. No, that would be attack speed. What's my attack delay? That's weird. Um, I was just talking about how excited I'm getting for Warhammer 3. Uh, bone marrow. Five berries? 
and six bows, of which we have plenty. Ooh, pretty good cool. chance. Uh, cactus salad, a cactus. The more I see about it, the more excited I get. It looks like they're doing an amazing job. Ten lettuce, six tomatoes. Evade chance, guys. Um, it looks like they're making all the UI changes they need to make. Uh, they're adding interesting factions and new interesting mechanics, and the, the maps look great. I'm just super excited. Uh, seven corn. No, sorry. Seven carrots, four corn, four gar sorry, onions, five wheat. It's uh, roasted carrots, mainly. Again, I don't know what a tactile is. Okay, full breakfast. Eight eggs. That is a lot of eggs for breakfast. I usually have three. It's steak. It's mushrooms. And four tomatoes. This is an English breakfast. Uh, evade chance. Appreciate it. Salmon burger. One, two, three, four salmon. Five lettuce. Five onions. And five wheat. Oh, sorry, four lettuce. There we go. Critical hit chance. Appreciate it. Kalakoko. Mm, sounds Hawaiian. Six salmon. Six meat. Uh, three spices. Six wheat. Uh, running speed. Appreciate it. A mushroom salad. I do like mushrooms in my salad. Six mushrooms, six lettuce, four onions. I do not like onions. Power attack damage increased. And baked potatoes. Three eggs. I'm not sure who puts fish in their baked potatoes. I'm just saying. I like a loaded baked potato, which in America is... A baked potato with bacon bits, cheese, sour cream, and... Hives? The hint of chive sort of thing? Alright, so we got three eggs, five bluefish, common roach, seven taters, that's a mushroom. Uh, more hit points! Appreciate it. And that is everything. Nice! We'll get that out of the way. So now, how many hit points do we have? 135. And so we could potentially have 155 hit points. Nice. Uh, not going to use it. Uh, what do I have equipped? Um, that's actually pretty good. I am going to switch the knives and the grenades. Uh, and we are going somewhere cold, right? Yes. But, yeah, here. All right. Thank you. Right to the Link Tower, Borealis. Uh, but yeah, just Warhammer 3, so excited. Um, they add, I guess they just announced a faction, which is you build your demon prince as you go, like you design and build the demon prince. Oh, it looks good. The problem, at least from what I could see, because, no, not you. Thank you. Ooh, we hit hard. Uh, is... It looks like parts get redundant. So, like, to give you an idea, like, let's say you do... I'm dedicating this de lot, a lot of this Demon Prince to Nurgle. You will not unlock the common version of the Nurgle chest, whatever that is. Um, and at common level, it is, I don't know, plus 10% hit points. And gives an ability that reduces... Enemy melee attack by minus five within a certain range. Then, if you get enough thing, you unlock the uncommon version of that chest, which just increases things by plus five, but you still see both of them. And that seems awkward to me. It seems like if something is a clear upgrade to a previous item, you should not see the lower grade item. So it looks like... I like the concept. I like the idea... But, oh, I don't have my axe equipped. I think they need to tweak the UI a little. 
but like if I have a choice between a common, I don't know, Nurgle chest and an uncommon Nurgle chest, it should not show me the common Nurgle chest if it is the exact same stats, only slightly weaker. Alright, I have chopped this down a number of times, so it definitely looks like things are either set to respawn or not respawn, and it just depends on whether you have a respawner hooked up. What? Is this where the quest is? Oh, I was close. So what quest is this? Uh, Hungry Wolves echo in the freezing wind. The howls are getting closer. Kill four wolves in 65 seconds. Oh my god. Dead. 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 Super easy. Alright. But, 5,000 5, XP. Can't say no to that. Alright, from here we are headed to... This tomb. So that is south... And just loop around. Okay. Um, can I... I guess I can see what this wishing well needs and then go grab it real quick. I am not gonna 100% the wishing wells unless I suddenly need to kill time. You do sledgehammer. Alright. I believe this is a chungus. Yes. And I busted these a few times, so yeah. You. You're dead. Although we are approaching the end game, so I'm not sure if I need more resources. I still think it's best to... Alright, good. Got that unclear. Or clear. Keep a few always respawning. Oh, that's the other thing I learned. So, the other thing I learned is, is I respawned all the monsters in here. Monsters respawn. Sorry, here. Plants do not. Which is not good if you want leaves. And that sort of thing. So you definitely kind of need to keep a few spots always respawning to get leaves and common materials, we'll say. And not have to worry about them running out. I mean, I'm not saying it'll be fast or anything, but... What do you want? Oh, I have a tire. Nice. My reward is... You know what? I'll take the green fish. Alright. Dead. Nope. And I know I've collected this a few times. And searched this. So, at least at the time of recording. Thank you. That's what I was trying to get. Oh, hold on. Do I have a magnifying glass equipped? I do not. Before I search. There we go. I don't think I need this. I'll go ahead and switch to dice. Uh, if an area is set to have respawning monsters, then there is a chance everything in that area respawns. Whereas, if it is set to not respawning monsters, the only things that look like have a chance of respawning are, are bushes, essentially. Oh, uh, now we're headed south. Um, and fishing spots never respawn, which is annoying. But they want them to fall. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and stash all this. Let's go see what this labyrinth is. Get my tea. Weight of the four. Oh, 
Okay. One of these. So this has to go here. This has to go here. Wait a minute. Can I... Okay. Um, if I push this here, 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 this gets blocked in. But... If I push this here, right? I can theoretically... Not what I meant to do. Right? Because th this is the trap. So if this goes down, yeah, but then I can't get this back. So if this goes here, I can't push this up. Hmm. If I push this, uh, hold on. This get comfy. This will take a few minutes. Okay. Well, I can't overstep this. This goes here. This goes here. This is stuck. This goes here. This is stuck. So the trick is going to be, I think this has to be pushed. And then that allows us to manipulate these. Wait, can I push like this? Okay. But what does that get me? That gets me this here. Hold on. What if I do this? Alright. Push this back this way. Then this goes up. Oh, well, no, right? Then this can go up. This can go that way. Right? And then this can come down. This can go back this way. Now I can just push this this way. Okay. And this just goes this way, and that goes that way. All right, there we go. Done and done. There we go. <clears throat> On to the next quest map, which is... I'll grab the radio. I mean, I should have grabbed the radios when I got a chance, huh? Over here. What's faster? I think the fastest thing to do, actually, hear me out, is, and I've been doing this more and more, pop the blue pills. <clears throat> there we go. Drop this off. Actually, let's take a look at here. I don't think I have enough to make mana. Yeah, I don't want to drop... Well... One more wouldn't hurt. That's 250. I feel like that's plenty. 180. We've got a lot of this. We'll go ahead and start that. I think 10 more of this would be fine. Or 19 wood. We'll go ahead and start that. Uh, oh, and 10 more lumber. Not a problem. Oh, 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 hold on. There we go. 7, 8, 9, 10. Feels fine. Let all those tip. Now, because now I can just hop to... Hold on, where's the... Here. So now I can just go to 
Frore and go east, okay? Yeah, and see what that's all about. That was Polaris. That was the wrong one. Around this one. Getting confuzzled. All right. And so now we head east from here. Let me. Or forget because I might need them. Quick rest. Not enough time. So quick camp. Now we're headed in this direction? Yes. Oh, okay, I can't go around that way. Oh, I knocked the bridge down. Okay, good. So there's a bridge here. And this quest is... I don't remember it. The village you have entered seems quiet. Perhaps this would be a good place to test out those dentured fangs you have crafted. Have dentured fangs equipped. Kill 11 X humans. Finish in 70 in 65 seconds. All right, first, we're gonna decline, and we'll trade this out for the. F oh, I can't. Ooh, that's gonna be weird. All right. Oh, wait. Looks like there's a camp right here. How nice of them. Oh, and a fishing spot. Which I've already used. Okay. So. I don't want to take... I'm going to lose 75% of my hit points. So let's do that. So now I only... Oh, wow. Woo. 31. Ouch! Um... And we'll also trade out. I think if you have the dentured fangs equipped, you also want the blood bag equipped. So that gives the whole 36 hit points. Man, one hit and we're dead. Well, let's try not to get hit, shall we? Uh, except. Ow! Okay. The good news is, we're one shot. Ow, ow, ow. No, yes. Kill. Oh, shit. Ow. There we go. Alright, come on. One more hit. Alright, hold on. Turn that off. There we go. Woo! 40,000 experience. I will take it. And that is every quest in the game, I think. There's only one monster left here, huh? Oh, and might as well listen to the radio. Again, it's just gonna be repeats, but we'll listen to it while we're here. Everyone will be provided a safe transit as soon as possible. That's a lie. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. Okay. So now that is every quest in the game that we know of. So from here, we want to go here. And I think we have to use this mana rift. So that means from here, we'll grab this radio, this radio, this radio while we're here. Use this mana rift. And the Wishing Well. Because, again, we're here, why not? I believe this Mana Rift gets us up here. And we'll listen, um, then we'll do that too. So, uh, again, inventory. Blue pills. Pop them. <clears throat> that's that's kind of twisted that you kill yourself to fast travel. Uh, but, all right. Uh, well, actually, while we're here, let's switch back to... I'd much rather have the Berserker Charm and the Bandolier 
Alright, everything else is fine. Also, these bandages, if you will, and we should be good to go. Alright, run! Um, right. Uh, we have to leave via the bridge. And then head north. Get to the fast travel point. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and throw the watch. No, that's the slow watch. That's done. Anyway, fast watch. There we go. Much faster traveling. Great north. That wishing well. Uh, let me just check on the map real quick. Oh, did I? Oh, I walked right by it. Yeah, see, that's that's my fault. Gotta mark these things. The, the map is big enough, at least for me, where I cannot remember where everything is. So I do have to mark. Here we go. Fast travel. Home first. Rest here. There we go. Just so this is set as the, the home base. All that should still be ticking. Alright, and now to central? And we're gonna hit the two radios. So that is... Let's <laughs> Clear this out so I can just run straight up here and then hang a left. Good ball. Oh, died to a tart here. There was a tart I forgot about. It almost killed me right here. Let's bust this open. Going for. Oh, there it is. The radio. Oh, huh. all right. Well, when in doubt, make your own path, is what I've learned in this game. As long as you have the equipment to do it, you're good to go. Uh, appreciate it. No, not there. There. Our society is built on the four discovered mana effects. When the rest of the world entered the atomic age, we were already a million steps ahead. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. I still want to know, we don't, we, st we still don't know what that fourth one is. It's a week since the last working escape pod left. There is still the one pod left, but we have uninstalled yep. the fuel cells just in case. Do not use the pod. Because we know is one is the ability, incredibly the well station. good, well good? Uh, essentially, an incredible energy to energy conversion ratio so very little energy in get you a massive amount of energy out we're gonna wait on that right and this all these guys respawn so because of that we're gonna take off the watch put on this actually and we will go ahead and move this and the road warrior <laughs> dead um and the ability to fabricate essentially to create uh star trek uh what are they called oh I, i'm the the i would like a it's locked huh all right well let's just clear this out the like i want a chocolate chip cookie and it just makes one Matter Replicator. I think that's the, the actual name. Matter Replicator. Um, clear this out. There's a... You forgot one. I mean, I don't need it, so... I'm not gonna break it down all the way. 
And I have been in this house, so... The fact that... All the searchers have respawned... Tells me. And someone pointed out, oh, we, we might be involved in America. This is the flag of the country. You've got Britain, America... Maybe, like, New Zealand, Australia. I think what they're going for is, like, this is supposed to be... The island has fallen. Am I too to fall? Am I to leave this haven of my rest? This is an automated recording sent from K-23, the Crown Station. Oh, you? Oh, you can see me, you bugger. Thank you for the stun. Alright, um, and now we've cleared out- oh, nope, still gotta do the search. Ooh, iron, which we convert to steel, which we then convert to aluminum. Alright, we're good. Um, like an almost Atlantis situation? Map, uh, check out the well real quick. Do what it needs. Think there's anything to kill on the way to the well? I just ignore this for now. What do you want, Mr. Well? Or Mrs. Well. I don't know what it identifies as. A bit of steel. Interest. I don't know how it decides what to give you, but it seems to be based on what you put into it. So when it asks for, like, a lot of rare things, then you get a lot of rare things back. You get... But ask for a lot of uncommon things, that sort of thing. We'll go ahead and take a single steel. And go trigger the well. Just to see what we get out of it. I'm actually going to take the bricks. Pretty damn hard to come by. Okay. And now we are headed to here. Again, if I remember correctly, I think this is... Again, some way to say, hey, this mana rift connects to this point on the map would be appreciated. So I don't have to sit there and go, I think this is where the mana rift is. Alright, map. Yes, yeah, so if we go north. That gets us right to here. Alright. Good, 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 good. So as you can see, some of them respawn. Oh, some of them do not. Oh, that... Thank you. Yeah, whatever, you're dead. Because it was right on that edge of the spawn, no spawn zone. We're trying to get north. There we go. Then I'll go drop off. Ooh, well, actually, I kind of need wood, so I'm going to break this down. Really quick. There we go. But, uh, yeah, so... And time manipulation. So th those are the three. I got sidetracked. So energy conversion, matter reconstruction, and time manipulation. And we don't know what the fourth one is. I'm thinking immortality? All right, let's see what this one is. Just be a nice little thinky puzzle. <sighs> Alternating code. Okay. So if I had to guess... Okay, so that lowers those two. That lowers those two. No, that doesn't work. So it's trying to figure out... Da, 
Metal. All right, I think that's it. So I think it's this one. This one. And this one. And then push this one all the way up. And this one all the way up. Which disables these doors. And then we can just push this off. And that should stop. Well, bollocks. Oh, do you have to push them all on to disable all the... Okay, that got rid of those two. What happens if I push them all on? Oh! Oh, that did it. All the left side, I guess. That's weird. Completed 20 tombs, 30,000 experience. Nice. Okay, so all the tombs are done. Except for the big one in the jungle. So let's go ahead towards that one and see what's there. Is there anything on the way I want to grab? Uh, no. Not that I can think of. And I think the fastest way there... Mine's... We're headed here, and then south. And the fastest way to get to the mines, honestly, is to commit ritual suicide, I guess. Which is just disturbing. There we go. Yeah, no, I don't think so, sir. Right. Knives back. Camp. Now, we are headed somewhere hot. Don't think I need all the trinkets, but just in case, I'll throw these on. And then if I need the hat, I'll throw on the hat. It's late enough. Can I rest? Nope. All right. Yeah, because you can only sleep after 18 hours. So if you sleep any longer than six hours... you. We end up overlapping. So we're headed to the Sunburnt Desert. And we're just gonna run. Uh, and since we're mostly wor actually worried about traveling and not searching, I'll keep the watch on. Sorry, I'll keep the ice on. And we'll take off just to get rid of you. And we're gonna we're gonna hug the wall so we trigger as few monsters as possible. Go again. Don't know how to kill the vultures. Never figured that out. And I've chopped down. Nope. Nope. We're just gonna run. Okay. It's, it's killing the deer. I'm okay with that. All right. Uh, and from here, you have to fight there, so back to the search, and we'll keep that on, just in case, I, I, I may not need it, I'm not sure. Okay. Cleared all these dead trees a number of times. Maybe trees come back to Alright. And we know from here I'm going to need the gas mask. So we're going to throw that on now. Let's check out this tomb. So. Then all the other tombs. Done this. Yep, there they are. Boom, 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 boom. Alright, so that means we can go up here. 
relatively easily. Yep. And yeah, all 20. Nice. What's I'm keeping the mask on. I don't trust it. It's gonna be poisonous gas in there or something. Okay. Well. So far, so good. If that's dead. Locked. Oh, yay, bones. Iron. More bones. Okay, that lowered. That's ominous. Oh, wait! There's another tablet. What's this? It's a burial note. the immortal king may he never see again for all is lost if he lays his eyes on our innocent people again mm hmm they used a sharpened spoon like two oh they gouged out his eyes oh that's just mean wait there's and they cut off his feet. <gasps> oh no. Here lies the immortal king. May he never walk again. For all is lost if he strides over the earth again. Walking is different with all your bones. Okay, they... Well... That's worse. So they shattered his bones. Gouged out his eyes. <gasps> oh, no. Ripped out his tongue? Here lies the immortal king. May he never speak again. For all is lost if he poisons the air with his lies again. Cutting off the tongue is as painful as it sounds. That's just... That's just mean! Ooh, a mana chunk. Appreciate it. What is this? Empty. Maybe I should have come here sooner. Oh, no. It, he, we are loose? We already checked that. Alright, let's do once around the room. Oh, there's more up there. Um, I don't know how to get up there. That implies there's a whole nother level. Okay. Uh, let's check the left side. That's a dead end. Let's be able to search, though. Alright, let's see if another passageway opens. Okay, so this is gonna get weird, I feel like. So, yep, we can go left. We can go up. We can go right. Let's go right. Ooh, mana chunks. Oh, dead end. And electronics. Okay, that's... I like the mana chunks. I find it weird that we found electronics buried in a tomb. Okay. A kopesh, powerful sickle-shaped sword wielded by the ancient tomb guards, forged from mana-infused metals, power attack damage, plus 30%, 75 slashing. So it starts at 75. All right. I feel like we're going to need that. Um, if I leave, God, again, campfire to campfire would be appreciated. 
trap. Yeah, there's no campfire here. If I go straight south, I don't need to go home to build it. But I should be able to build that at any camp. So yeah, so, like I said, so these won't respawn. Regular monsters will. I'm going to kill these guys for mana real quick. Let's go ahead and crap. Well, drop all this off. And go ahead and craft the Kopesh. Yeah, here it is. At 75. Okay. Upgrade. Just mana beads? I can afford that. Critical hit damage, eh, but it's up to 80 already. That's a lot of mana beads. And a mana chunk now. 85. Oh, see, now it takes two. But that gets us to 90. Hit chance, damage, power, attack, damage. I'll do it one more time. Oh, I, I can afford a mana shard. That's 95. Ah, now I need... But we're already up to 95. And the machetes caps... Uh, sorry, the axe caps out at 80. And more hit chance, more hit damage. Ooh, and it caps out at 100. So this this is this is an end game weapon. Okay, so we're going to trade out the axe. Actually, technically, the Kopesh should go here. The sledgehammer should go here. That thing is huge! Oh! And it's rain! Okay, well. Well, 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 well. Well. That's gonna make... Question. Alright, but things that can't be damaged by slashing, it will not damage. Well, that... Changes a few things. Whoa! Don't care. I am glad I upgraded this. Wow! So this will just- oh my god, this is gonna make- I am, I am not worried about fixing the engine anymore. Let's put it that way. Um, what? Oh, it's a Chungus. I can take a Chungus. Okay. Holy shit. Oh, yeah, you're gonna accidentally cut down so much stuff with this. Okay. Cool. Definitely. Uh, and it's not, it's not like Legend of Zelda where it's like you have to be at max hit points and trigger the AoE. So yeah, 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 yeah. So we're going to ditch this and we're going to head back into the tomb and finish it off. Um, we have not explored everything in the tomb, so I do not consider it that that was definitely worth it. Uh, and we will have no problem fixing and defending the engine now.
in any way, shape, or form. Alright, we're still exploring the tomb. There is more to explore. Okay, so that was left. Oh, we can't do weapons in the tomb. Gotcha. Alright, let's go north. It says done. It's not really done, let's be honest, because we haven't gone north. Another mana chunk. Nice! Uh, ooh, a CPU. Nice. And that's that. So, wait a minute. Map. Dead end, dead end. So, ha oh! Oh, I just run. Okay. Like, how do I get up? And I was way overthinking it. Gotcha. Not yet, my friend. I just had to run along here. They like, broke his bones, cut out his tongue. Eh, iron. Okay. Hmm, I still find it weird we're getting electronics. Yes, mana chunks. Oh, looks like we can run along here. And a shard! Nice! King ka ching All the mana chunks, all the mana shards. Appreciated. Right, now let's check the left path up here. Bones. And that's it! We have explored the tomb. Tomb is done! Okay. So, we did trigger a different camp than the main one. But we have no issues now. I said, we will have no issues now defending that engine. Between the AoE rockets, this, How do I get out of here again? And machine guns, it will be a walk in the park. So I'm so glad I did this in this order. No, can't. Yeah, so it's gotta be blunt. Alright, so now we're headed back to Civilite. I don't think that's the right way we want to work. Back to Canaveral. Hello, this is Gohan the Chichilla, and we hope you're having a good day, as do I. As always, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to follow, like, subscribe, or comment. Or, even better, come on over to twitch.tv backslash sparkytdk and watch me live every Monday through Friday. Thank you for your support.